Hi everybody, this is your new Assistant Athletic Director of Compliance, Gabe, uh, speaking. I just wanted to touch base with all of you guys and let you know uh, about a couple of plans that I have for the future and what I'm going to touch on from what Coach Jen Constantino left behind for me. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you everybody, and especially Coach Constantino, who left me behind several programs that were already running very smoothly. For instance, I'd like to take note of... Um, her academic eligibility uh, standards, which doesn't sound like a program, but at the same time, it definitely was something that she had to take on as a project throughout the entirety of her tenure here. So I'm going to pick up where she left off, which is keeping up with meetings on all of you guys on a bi-weekly basis. I know it sounds like you guys don't have a lot of time, but if Coach Jen could do it, I can do it as well. It's only gonna be a short meeting, it is about eligibility every single time that you come in, so I would like everybody to know that, you know, if there is a problem, I will let you know ahead of time so that we can allot more time. Um, but usually, it's just a quick checkup to see what you guys need as student-athletes and what I need as a compliance coordinator to make sure that you guys can continue playing and continue representing like Superior State. The second thing that she left me was... Um, a good, a good database of employment. Um, when it comes to all of you guys, I know that not everybody has a full ride scholarship. I don't know everybody has any scholarship money, which is why most of you actually are working at this time uh, to help supplement you guys living off campus and also to feed yourselves. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm trying to go going to build on that. This is going to be my first initiative to try and get through. And I'm going to try and get um, more jobs for you guys. I'm going to reach out into the community and I'm going to let employers know that you guys need jobs. And I'm not going to go around begging. It's not necessarily my spot either as a compliance coordinator to try and make sure that you guys have jobs, but I would like to know that there are some out there so that we, I can work in tandem with them to make sure that you get the hours that you deserve, but at the same time, these, those hours don't conflict with school first and foremost, practice, game time, and other team duties. Now, it seems like a lot of work, but at the same time, this is going to take some time to implement, which will be okay. We'll get through it. The third thing that Coach Constantino left with me um, was amateur status, as in she's monitoring everybody's amateur status, making sure that everybody is complying to the NCAA, NCAA rules, um, trying to make sure that we maintain that status as a school instead of as individuals, which is absolutely fine. Lake Superior State is a smaller school. Everybody knows that. So keeping ourselves at an amateur status, that's easy for us to say. So that leads into the second initiative. The second initiative actually goes back to the first thing that Coach Constantino left with me, which was a strong academic tide. Now, I would like to try and jump into academics. Um, this is going to be my first semester being your guys' assistant um, athletic director of compliance, and I would like to help you guys as much as I can because helping you guys helps me do my job, and it helps the university maintain its standing with the NCAA, both in Division Two and for hockey in Division One. So what I would like to do is I would like to meet with the deans of every single school here at Lake Superior State University, and I'd also like to meet with the tutoring staff. I'd like to see who needs what and at what time. I want alerts from your professors or from your tutors when a giant test test is coming up so that I do plan for, you know, maybe these students need more study time. I'll stay in contact with both the teachers and these professors and tutors, so I'll make three, sorry, and I will make sure that you guys are accommodated as best you can. Again, as a compliance coordinator, I'm not here to serve the rule book. I'm here to serve you guys with the rule book. So stick with me, just like you did with Coach Constantino. I'm sure that we're going to get along just fine. And I'm sure that these initiatives are going to actually take place, and we're going to see a lot more improvements for both you as a singular player and for your teams. So again, this is Gabe Schmidt. It's good being here.